Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin, principal of Simply Improve Health, and I help people to train better and longer, have improved sleep, and enjoy general better quality of life using simple plant-based products and simple techniques. Tonight, um, as you can see, dressed as, as comfortably as I can be in the heat, but I'm not complaining because we seldom get such glorious weather in the UK during the summer. So I just take showers and keep as cool as I can. Though I have to admit, it's a bit difficult finding where to, <laughs> to put my microphone with when I'm wearing this little bit of clothing, but never mind. Um, but my subject this evening takes a look at the natural world and, and or a piece of the natural world and what it can teach us. And the, this particular lesson comes from spiders. Now, I have to explain. I said that uh, being that I lived in a ground floor apartment with a patio and greenery all around, spiders have a tendency to um, come in and visit. Um, most of the time, I just capture them and put them back outside. I'm not squeamish about bugs. Um, but there is one particular spider um, that's very large, very <clears throat> has very large eyes, and is, you can visibly tell when it's looking at you. Anyway, from time to time, this particular spider appears, and I always ask her, um, I assume it's a female, but I don't know. But in any case, I ask her, um, what's the message that she has for me? Um, in Native American uh, traditions in the Southwest, um, one of the create, creation stories talks about Grandmother Spider and how Grandmother Spider weaves the world that we know and experience um, in her web. You know, we're all part of Grandmother Spider's web. Um, and that's the, the actual subject. Oi, Sandra. <laughs> um, that's the subject of, of my talk today, is what we can learn from spiders. Now, some people say, ugh, spiders, six legs, horrible things, and they're poisonous, and they can bite you, and blah, blah, blah. And yes, that's all true. But... On a larger scale, spiders um, do something that's very um, emblematic of what our lives should be like. I mean, we, we are on the World Wide Web. The reason why you can see me is because we're on the World Wide Web, like a spider web stretching out in, in all directions. And that's the lesson of, of Grandmother Spider, is that we are all connected. Even before we had the internet, um, we had telephones. Before we had the telephone, we had telegraphs. Before we had telegraphs, we had letters. So we have always been um, trying to connect with one another in one way or another. So spider has a tendency to appear usually <laughs> in my bathroom and people say ah it's just the water or they come up the pipes and that's true too but this particular spider we I've, I've come to recognize her as an individual um and she's particularly big she's about that big um and like i said you can see her eyes she, i can actually see when she's looking at me um and every time she has appeared um there has been uh, it's been a reminder to of the web, the connection with others, um, and to seek out those connections because it's important. And as human beings, we are uh, communal creatures. We live in community. We don't thrive in isolation. Put it, take a baby, a newborn child, and don't hold it and, and let it feel that it, it's being surrounded and contained. It won't thrive, and it may even die. So we by nature are hardwired to live in community with, with one another. And that's the lesson of, of Grandmother Spider is that we live in connection and we are connected by the web of life. Never mind www dot, 
but by the web of life. We are all living sentient creatures. Now, the other thing that I've been talking about over the past few weeks is not only um, um, celebrating and sharing your gifts, which is, again, about communication, but also <clears throat> last week I talked about, or recently I, I talked about um, connections and being connected um, with, with oneself as well as with others. And that's, again, Grandmother Spider saying, you need, in order to be able to thrive, whether at a personal level or a professional level as a business person or somebody who's got something to sell, you've got to be connected. You have to make use of the, the connections that you have in order to be able to move forward. So, you know, a lowly spider um, can teach us a, a, quite a lot, quite frankly, in terms of remembering that when you touch one thread of the web, it's going to, to correspond and, and ripple across to the other side of the web where the spider is actually sitting. So if you're not connected, if you're not receiving the signals that people are sending to you, um, your web has, is full of holes. It's not doing its job and connecting you to others. Now, the other thing I've been talking about, about is last week I mentioned that I, I turned my desk around because I was um, wanted to change the, the flow of energy in my home so that um, more, the more abundance flowed through it. Now, <laughs> I told you that, that I did that, and 24 hours into that, I was on my live, and people were coming out of the woodwork contacting me, and it's still going on. The connections are growing and growing and growing. So, you know, and I'm checking through, who are these people that are connecting with me? They're like friends of friends of friends of friends of friends. <laughs> So I don't, I, you know, I don't know them directly. And they're coming from all over. Um, I was talking to somebody from South Africa, somebody from Zimbabwe, um, somebody from Romania, somebody from Israel, <laughs> Australia. I mean, it's just been absolutely off the hook. It's amazing. But I said, you know, I put out to the universe that I wanted to be more connected not only to grow my business, but to, to grow um, my knowledge, my awareness, my, uh, my friendships with other people in other places and learn what they have to say. So my web is being extended and f reaching further and further across the planet. And that's the, the upside of, of this wonderful World Wide Web that we, live, we use and don't think twice about every day. We, you know, there was a time when it took months for correspondence to come from Australia to the UK or from the US to, the, to Europe somewhere. Months, not days, months. So it's, it's important to remember that like Grandmother Spider, we need to make use of our web <laughs> like the, like right now, I'm talking to you on a web um, and connect with other people because that is the way um, we are um, we can are seen. If there's no one to reflect back to us, it's almost as if we're invisible, that we don't exist. Remember, I used that analogy the other day that if a tree falls in the forest and no one makes and no one is there to hear it, does it make noise? It's the observation, the seeing that makes it real. So if we're not being seen by other people, in a sense, we're almost unreal. I mean, not literally, but in a sense, we're invisible because we ha don't have that other to reflect back to us and so that we can see not only what they see, but who we are, because they're only reflecting back what they get from us. So I would put to you, how are you using your webs of life? How are you weaving the web of your life? Are you expanding your web and capturing as many, well, not flies, but 
<laughs> capturing as as many contacts and and good contacts. I don't mean just you know my thousand cl closest Facebook friends. I mean genuine and real and and substantial relationships that will sustain you through through you know part or maybe even all of your life. I challenge you to look at how you're weaving the web of your life, whether you're talking about an online life, a direct life where you're talking to people and being around people directly, or building a business. It's all about relationships. It's all about connections. So if you're not connecting, and the first person you need to connect with is yourself, if you're not connected to yourself and, and living at your your highest potential, you're going to reflect that out there in the world, and that's exactly what you'll get back. You get things that are lower than your potential, and in fact, may even drag you away from your potential. So as the days go by, give a think to, to how it, what elements are you weaving into your web? Are you weaving in good relationships, whether business or personal? Are you weaving a good relationship with yourself by constantly um, looking within and seeing, polishing the rough diamond that you are? I challenge you to think about that in the coming days and see what you come up with. And that's my thoughts for the day. It's really hot. And ladies, if you haven't taken advantage of these two 48 hours between, <laughs> between World Cup matches and you're not into football, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Take advantage. I gave you some tips to follow to if to, if you're not into football and would like some other things to do. I said watch a couple of my lives ago for the for the um, World Cup widows. But if you're if you're panting like <laughs> like your other half for the football to start, you've only got 24 hours to go. Thanks so much for watching and joining. I hope you found that what I've said of value. And if you had, send me some love hearts or thumbs up or wow or, or leave a comment. I'm always happy to receive your comments and I will respond. Have a great evening and weekend and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>